you know, obviously he has a little bit more resources than, than us. You know, HMS always seems to always have a lot of speed and, um, you know, he could kind of get away with it being, being a cup champion where I, I feel like I really want to work on the car, work on myself a little bit in the sim. But, um, but yeah, I was, I take advantage of it, but I know exactly what he's talking about because I, I did sort of the same deal with Iris and just this week, just just because I wanted only my truck to, to remember and think about. Is it difficult to adjust going back and forth between a, between cup and truck on the sim, and or, or is it more helpful? No, it's helpful. I, I think it's way more difficult going Xfinity to truck or Xfinity to cup than cup to truck. Um, you know, I ran the truck and then went and drove the cup car or I ran, ran the truck at Darlington when then drove the Xfinity car me and Ross looked at each other because we were both doing it I'm like man that thing's way different like it's so different um and I go drive the the cup and truck in the same weekend and it's really similar you know cup and truck and sim it's super easy um the throttle ons the th you know the, the throttle traces the brake traces everything's pretty similar it's just the the amount of side force you have just a little bit faster through the center is really about the biggest difference at all no, not really. I haven't really thought about it, honestly. I've just been focused on, on racing, and I've, I, figured I, I figured my plans would change how we do this weekend anyway, so I, I hadn't planned anything. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I, I mean, he has that, that podcast, and everybody wants a little bit of insight, so I don't, I don't mind it. Like, if I was a fan, I would not want to know that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Talladega, I felt like I was very aggressive, and Vegas probably a little bit too. Um, so I don't, I don't know exactly. I, I definitely feel like I've been a little bit ultra aggressive, just trying to learn. Uh, you know, I almost want to put myself in a little bit of bad spots, which at the same time probably is not the greatest thing because it kind of puts everybody else in a bad spot at times. But, um, you know, the guys I'm racing with, a lot of times their, their car's a little bit better than mine and, and I'm trying to make a lot, make it, make up for it and sometimes get myself in a bad spot. But, um, but no. Yeah, it's how you learn. It's how you take advantage of it. Um, and, and a lot of times, you know, I've learned that, you know, 15th to some guys, you know, they don't look at it like it's a big deal. Where for me, you know, if with my car, if I can get to, to 15th, then I can fire off in the restart a row or two further up. And then that can kind of maybe spinball you to, to get spots where, um, you know, a lot of these guys that have won races or, or you know, 15th is a bad day to them. It's just it's not a bad day to me, and I'm trying to go forward. So um, I probably just run them harder than they expect, um, than, than they're used to, just because a lot of times the guys that run 15th are the guys that win, and they're not know they're not going to win that day. Where for me, you know, if I could go run 12th, that'd be a win for me. I don't know. I haven't worked with Corey yet, honestly. Um, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out in the off season. I'm going to work with Zane. I've talked to Zane. Um, a bit the last few weeks in truck and we compare notes even in our truck stuff already a little bit because we knew we were both going to be signed to, to Spire for next year um, but no I, I, I think it'll be fine you know I'm confident in, in who um, the team they're building um, the team that is going to be built for me I'm confident in, in my group I'm, I'm never normally worried I'm probably a bad teammate per se just because I kind of worry about myself you know I'm, I'm plenty fine to you know if you come ask for help or come ask questions, um, great. I'll come ask questions when I need it, but otherwise I'll just kind of stick to myself and, and I think we'll be just fine. And I, I'm playing confident. I'm more confident in just my team and, and what they're building at Spire and, and what's going to be happening between those four walls than, than um, you know, really working as teammates yet. I don't know. I think it's more weird that we're going to have different alliances. <laughs> I think that part's the weirder part. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know about the rookie of the year part. I haven't looked too far far into that. Uh, I'm confident I can have a shot to win it, um, but I'm I'm more worried about like. I mean, truthfully, like I feel like the the tip of the mountain for me is to try and somehow point my way into the playoffs. Like I'm more focused on that. Um, you know, my goal is somehow to be 15th to 16th in points. You know, that's that's my overachieving way. You know, maybe unrealistic expectation of goal. You know, and, and whether that takes me next year two years three years um you know i think that's tip of the mountain obviously when a race is a goal but i mean that goes without saying right or, or run really good that goes without saying but um you know if you were able to do that i mean there's there'd be plenty of really top tier a programs that would miss the playoffs and um you know i'm just i think if i run you know how we hope and expect and i know we potentially can especially with what's coming into the building um then then rookie year might take care of itself I mean, the the real answer is it was just 
almost the only deal I had on the table. Um, so it was really easy for me to 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 pick that one. But um, like I told them, I was like, man, I don't I don't know if there's a lot more deals that were on the table. I wouldn't have just picked that one anyways. Um, I mean, what they're at the time, I didn't know what all they were buying and building and, and how much money um, they had coming in and, and how much they were able to invest. Right. You know, you hear all the things of, yeah, we're going to do this and that. But the fact they did it right away, you know, and even without selling me on it, um, you know, I just I knew what we did at Gateway and what we could achieve and felt confident, maybe a little bit of overconfidence in myself that well, I feel like I can take a decent car and, and make it better than expectations you know so I was like okay you know as long as I have a decent you know program and I can do that for 38 weeks I think we can put something together but then they're like hey you know by the way after I was already signed hey we're buying KBM we're buying all this stuff you're gonna have a little bit more alliance with HMS and 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 now we're gonna have a track house alliance we're gonna be more aligned with Chevy than we ever have and I'm like okay I well, won't I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket too, so <laughs> we'll buy that one um, after we're done. After I hang up the phone, but no, it's uh, I, I'm I'm excited and, and happy about it, and um, glad I'm gonna have Spire on on my suit patch next year and, and be able to walk into that building. And um, you know, I think perceptive is or perspective is is very important. I think that's the right word. Perception is the right word, and the fact they have a building like that screams big team or or a little team that's it's bursting into hopefully being a big team and if you look like a big team and you know you I'm sure you'll play like a big team and um, yeah I think they're getting closer to, to that goal.